I love hats. One, because my hair is not so great. When it gets sweaty on stage, it disappears. So what I like about a hat is the shape of a hat is kind of interesting. And when I first started with this, it really came from Justin Bieber. His first haircut was really just a bowl cut, <laughs> which I loved. And there's nothing wrong with a bowl, because what a bowl is is a guideline. And if you look at your fingers, ladies and gentlemen, your hands are sort of limited. And every one of us has a different hand size. So I'm just saying, using little tricks, this trick is about tension, using the top to push the surface down. The, on curly hair, what does curly hair do? Somebody said to me once, a client, don't cut my hair short, it shrinks. Well, it doesn't shrink, you cut it too short. <laughs> it's not like something woolly, it's something that is absolutely, tension is the key. I love curls, but what I don't like about curly hair is what technique does to it. So it's looking like Takashi's doing, free hand, hitting it like it is a garden flower, a hedge, something uniquely different, and just looking for that beautiful shape. So I'm using the tension from the hat, and of course I'm using the shape of my hat, and the hats I wear, in case you don't know or maybe not interested, are Philip Tracy. It's a designer hat. They cost about three or $4,000, so this is technically a designer haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it with a John Deere hat, it won't be worth as much. That's all I'm telling you right now. Nothing wrong with John Deere. You can wear a John Deere hat as long as you don't live there. <laughs> if you live there, it's not so cool. I'm gonna turn you around a little bit, just using the lid and the brim, looking for a little shape to it. Kinda like this piece, you're looking like Slash from Guns N' Roses. That's what my son loves, he's got hair like Slash. Kashi, you've got hair like Axl Rose. I do. No. He's not strange. We have a big show we got coming up in Gathering in Vegas. It's one of the funnest shows. Here we go. We're going to take the little hat off. Oh, give me my hat back, girl. A little bit of finishing. This is extra body. And what I'm going to do is just rock the graduation, spin it around so they can see what I actually did. There it is. That was a stack bob. I could go back to the 80s with this shit, stacking them out the window. Who remembers that? I gotta stack your hair. We had to get double doors in the salon just to get all that white hair out. And then look at the faces we work on. Most faces are white. Did they need that? Then we give them bangs. What does that do? So I love a good stack. I love a good rhythm to it. And it happens because I hit one line using geometry by putting tension, hitting it one solid line, bam. Using tension to make magic. Tension, body position. We got a lot of time. You need a hat, Takashi? I'm sorry? You need a hat? Nah. I mean... I don't know about you guys. Do you ever get around people like you with curly hair? I'm in supermarkets and I see people with curly hair. I just want to run up behind them, put the hat on and go, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be worth getting arrested for. That'd be some fun shit right there. I'd become an internet sensation, wouldn't I? You are an angel. I am honored to cut your hair. Take a walk, my little princess. I can't feel my face.